Hello everybody, this is Mad Marshman, back with our dual skelly spawner, which we haven't run for ages. We don't, we're not greedy for levels nowadays. And welcome to another episode of A Mad World. So we need to come over to our brewing area, and we want, that will make it awkward potion, that will make it fire resist, and this will extend it. They should be water, they are. Hopper is locked. So that goes in there, that goes in there, that goes in there. Flick the switch. So, no guessing, we are going to the nether today. That is also why I have beef or steak on my hotbar. We want something with top quality saturation. I don't want to be worrying about my food when I'm fighting a ton of blazers. So how's this getting on already? Awkward potion. So I hope you liked the last episode where we built Rudy's milk and cookie bar. If you didn't watch it, you should go and see that. It's got some cool redstone. got some links to the redstone tutorials for a nano cookie fa uh, cocoa bean farm, a nano wheat, carrot and potato farm. And Seth Bling's double extend and staircase came into play. We now have fire resist and we're now going for extended fire resist. So while we're doing that, we've still got one or two blocks left from the Rudy build. I know we put most of our wood in the fishing hut, but this is sort of where our overspill of wood goes. It's nice to have a little bit of everything everywhere. There it is, auto-filling with the water bottles, lovely. It's not super automatic, but it does what we want, or does what I want, anyway. Right, so back up we go. So I went in the nether and um, found something. Not anything unusual, but found something, and I will explain when I get in there. I need to do something with this as well. We need more prettification do most of that off camera as you know because it's very time consuming keep swapping blocks out and trying to make your mind up what you're doing anyway yeah I came in here and if you look I know you're going to risk losing everything if you look over there you probably can't see it because it's not loaded in yet but there is over there somewhere a fortress. Ah, there's one of the legs. You can just see it. it. might be too dark for YouTube. You might be able to see where it goes into the lava. But anyway, yes, there's a fortress over there and no immediate looking route to get to it. So I'll put a bit of cobblestone around the the um, bleh, portal just so it doesn't get blown out. And I dug down here like so ignoring all this good stuff because we don't do a lot of building with quartz and we got we got nearly a stack of quartz which is plenty for a comparators which is all I really use it for and then through I don't know if it's luck or judgment or the fact that I've played Minecraft since the days of Alpha and have a reasonable judge of distance when I'm mining looking for something I came down here and there's a blaze in my tunnel, so I wasn't expecting to drink one of these just yet. But we're going to have that now. And I'm not surprised there's a blaze in my tunnel. Or more than one. Right, no wither skeletons, that's the main thing. I could have brought tons of milk. I didn't bring any. Right. So yeah, we come out of our hole here, and um, face to face with a blaze spawner. Which, to be completely on, better keep the bow on the hot bar just in case we get to play with a ghast. Yeah, which is exactly what I was hoping for was a blaze spawner. Because we're going to trap it, but first of all, we've got to shut it down, and we're on hard, so they're going to spawn pretty rapidly. And we're probably going to get quite a lot. Oh, don't do that, look. Don't be annoying. Just die quickly. 
so I don't hit the pigmen. Right, I want a cobblestone on top. So this needs to be, well I've said this before, the nerds will tell you that it needs to be 8 by 9 depending on which direction you're facing, but I'm not interested in any of that. I will make it 9 by 9 and that'll be fine. 9 by 9 and that'll be fine and that is a rhyme. Right, lots and lots of lovely blazers. We're going to get more blaze rods than we ever need. And by the time we've built the farm, we won't need it anymore. Why? Well, I, I didn't realise blaze dropped armour. Since when have blaze dropped armour? I'm alright as long as I've got the fire resist. And as long as I don't let them physically hit me. Because that hurts. Well, I think we need to go... We will be able to see the spawner from underneath, so I think we need to have two layers on top, like so. Right. Do not make me hit a pig man, because that will make me most angry. Right, I ain't done this for a long while. I think that's two layers. Two layers above the spawner. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. Which means I really should be doing that first. Otherwise I'm going to leave gaps. Yeah, I'm a bit rusty on the blaze spawner trap. And I do love trapping me a blaze spawner. And in the past I've always done the generic B ghetto spawner trap. The no redstone. Which is a very handy, very cheap little trap. But this time I'm probably going to do a redstone based trap with a piston crusher etc etc hello oh, this is getting a bit out of hand how are we doing four minutes still on the potion good have some more food in a minute You're irritating me. Yes, it's going to be one of these farms, I'd say, so ironically we're probably going to end up with more blaze rods than we ever need in the making of the farm. Which is um, just Minecraft all over for you, really. See, I'm, I'm guessing these fence posts probably actually count as blocked spaces where gas can't spawn, but, you know... Who cares, I want to block it with dirt. Then I know where I am. You know where you are with some good old fashioned dirt. Hello. They are dropping armour, aren't they? Right. You should be able to use water in the nether and water should hurt blazers, I've decided. That would be cool. Right, let's heal up here, please. This is getting out of hand. Zombie pig dude. Do not want to hit him. I reckon that armour is because of the roguelike dungeon mods myself. But we don't care, we'll have it. Might be something interesting there. That was you, wasn't it? I'm so glad it wasn't a pig man, because that would have scared the crap out of me. So I do not want to fight all them. When I used to play in the old school Minecraft server, the first multiplayer server I ever played on, Zombie Pigman in their nether were modded to be in a permanent state of aggro. That was interesting. That made going in the nether much more exciting. Get away, I want to put some dirt down, please. See, I'm even polite, you can tell I'm a gentle English gent, I even say please to blaze. <laughs> English gent, who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Right. We need to come off here one more. Don't know what I'm sneaking for, because that would probably be easier to actually just get down there and get in amongst it. Oh, extra dirt. Can I afford it? Right. That direction is cool. Need to come out here one more. 
How many blaze have we got? We've got loads of blaze rods, which is always nice, because we want more. That will give us strength potions, and um, what else won't it give us? All sorts of things. More fire resist potions. And of course, fuel for the furnaces. Save messing around with the charcoal cooker so much. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, we just need to travel in one direction now. I need to just get away from these boys. One minute and something. Hello. The only thing I've got to worry about in the nether is lava pouring on my head, and as I'm currently fireproof, and there it is. Hello, lava. Alright, just to be on the safe side, because there is lava everywhere now, and blaze everywhere. I don't know how deep that hole is. They can be quite terrifyingly deep sometimes. Let's have a bit of a tidy up on the blaze front. Probably done something really silly like drunk a health potion and not even on fire resist at all. Ah, there was a foolish move. That could have been to death. Munch. don't need a staircase but we're going to have one anyway so we are now basically two layers away from completing this that was rubbish because I know I can't get to them bottom two go away blaze I will kill you and all your brethren with a crusher and a potion in the near future be none of this messing around, blunting my sharpness three sword. Here come the ghasts, here come the ghasts. That's something else I've got to do, I've got to put level 30 on a bow. What are we at, level 23? Well, I think it'll be long before it level... Well, I'm actually... Ah, oh, that was that lava, wasn't it? Hello. Did I get it? That got it. So this is where I'm... Damn good job that I got fire resist. I'm gonna have to remember that lava's there. Stop being on fire, Mad Marshman. Right, so that is four blocks in all directions. So this blaze spawner now should be locked down. So if I kill these remaining strays. Do not hit me with your physical damage, because that hurts. Put out the fire. Well, come on then, look. Come down here and play. Well, I can hear another one. I know we get natural spawns in the nether, but I want to make sure that I've actually shut this spawner down. I think I have. Twelve blaze rods and some rubbish armour. There's a natural spawn blaze. That is lava above. Right, have you spawned or? You did, they're still spawning. Oh, because they are, look, I've completely rubbished it. I've got to do the same layer as the spawner. Oh god, I made a right hash up of this. Right. Shouldn't be too difficult. I'll get it done. Didn't even need to do... So it should be the same layer as the spawner and the layer above it then. Like I said, I'm a bit rusty. I haven't done it for a long while. I know it's only two layers. Right. Oh. Yeah, there's only about one spawning space now, and I'm standing in it most of the time. I should I did bring extra blocks because I know how useless I can be. Right, this is not the scientific approach I was planning on taking. 
go away. But at least I checked. You see, you got you got to check before you run off and think, oh, I've done this now. And then come back without any fire resist potions, thinking that you're good. I mean, really, you're not. You're rubbish. Right. That is considerably, well that's one layer thicker than it needs to be basically. How am I doing for fire resist? Three minutes. Three minutes left, so the top layer of dirt on here is not actually required to complete this task. I may even remove it just to save... See I've got three minutes left, I could actually get up there and do that. See, when I placed that second piece of cobble on top, I thought, why am I doing this? I don't actually need to be putting this second piece. You know, I normally just dump one piece of cobble on top of the spawner to identify the spawner for when I go to trap it. I was wondering why I'd put another piece on top. Now I know, because I did it wrong. So there you go, how not to trap a blaze spawner. You want one layer above the spawner and the the actual layer that the spawner's on. Yeah, you're over there, it's so okay, you're a natural spawn. I don't care about you. Don't make me show everyone how bad I am with a bow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Shoot him. Oh, spawn and space. Bop. Right, so lava, lava. Everywhere. Piggy, piggy. Where are you? I don't want to hit you with my spade. What's this? Chain? Going to be better than that. Vaguely. Done! And without even getting lost, we're going to go home and have a look at something else. Maybe use up these 27 levels on a bow. We'll get three more levels with some skellies and do a bow, I think. Well, we're back home. I don't know how many of these lanterns we're going to switch off. Probably not all of them. Probably leave the one in the middle on. Because I can't be bothered to go up there. Or can I? I might do an off-camera 30 level thing. Once I've done the bow... Yeah, let's take the top one out. I didn't build it efficient to make it inefficient. Oh. Right. So, hello. Spawn. You got a sword? What sort of sword? Wood? Is that a wooden sword? I have seen one with a diamond sword. We really want a loot and sword for killing these these idiots. Oh yeah, we got some armor. Right, what we got? Blast protection, projectile protection. Protection one, unbreaking one. All leather though, which is a bit rubbish. We'll combine some of these. I have to get an anvil and do some combining. But we won't ever have to make armor again if we don't want to. I don't believe in running around in diamond armour, so that's quite adequate for us. We have a fire potion to add to the collection. Some empty bottles to go back in with the ingredients. Another 15 blaze rods to add. Right, what I want is I want an iron sword. Because we have an iron golem farm, which was currently above us, and it'll be working its little butt off. We can have unlimited iron. Which means, why hit mobs with a stone sword when you have an iron sword? And we need more crafting tables. And I need to do something for this bit of floor. I noticed that when I was making Rudy's hut, I thought, we, oops, I thought we've got a piece of floor that I've not replaced with cracked and mossy. And the cracked and mossy is coming from, as you can see, as I'm clearing out bits of the dungeon and they're no longer any good to us, I'm just gutting them. Floor, ceiling and walls. And that's given us 
tons of materials. We get B. You'd normally have to go to an end fortress to get all this. So this is our steak. Now I know we've got food coming out of our ears literally, but I don't like eating steak when I'm at home in the Minecraft. Steak Steak is for um when you're in combat mode. What am I doing? Flambe. I also normally just chuck a potion at him to kill him, but as we only want three levels, I'm not going to waste a potion on him. Come on, die. Well, not die, but just nearly die, please. Alright, I want three levels, and I don't mind if I pick up a few bows, because I, I want a bow anyway. This could be an easy three, isn't it? This is fast, this... This is fast, I'm telling you. Alright, we're going to do a bow first, because as you probably know, levels are exponential, so that means it'll take me ages to get level 31 and 32 and 33. It's better to save them levels. And go for 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, whatever, and get 10 quicker. Alright, there's a fresh new bow. Oh, I said I wasn't going to live underground, but if you've got a mob trap, that's just so easy living next door to it. But we have got a load of above ground stuff to make us go up there. Right, let's see. Oh, I'm on a 1.8 texture pack. Forgive me, because we're actually in 1.72. First thing you come to, power 4, punch 2. Put flame on that and that'll be wonderful. And we don't actually need infinity. I've had that happen before, believe me. I'll get um, a skelly spawner like this. I mean, we've only used it about twice and look, you know. And um, what happens is you go and get an infinity bow when you really don't need it. So I think once I've got everything I want, I'd love a looting diamond sword. I mean, I've got a silk touch pick and a fortune three pick. So all I really want is a looting bow. Maybe a luck of the sea fishing rod would be nice because there's some good loot to be had from that right so I'm probably gonna get another 30 levels and then we might do a fishing rod or something so I haven't actually got any diamonds to make a diamond sword out of although we have got a villager who will trade us a diamond sword this trap has been running now for nine minutes while I've been making a cup of coffee and got myself some chocolate out of the fridge so let's let these two boys drop. Switch that. Flambe. While we run over here to our mob drop chest. One, two, two string for a fishing rod, I believe. I do need another crafting bench. I can't keep running back to the brewing area every time I want to craft something. But we will do that for now. We're going to do a fishing rod. Because of the only ever silk touch book I've got, and as I'm sure you're aware, it's a silk touch book for silk touch shears mainly. The only silk touch book I've ever got is from fishing. So there you go. We got one. We got one. I can't see a thing. Helmets. We got one of them. Should we have a stab over here? Bones. Shoes. It's quite good this is. This is like fishing. I can't actually see anything. I'm just... Oh! Turn the trousers round. Trousers. Arrows. It's a nightmare job this is. What have we got? 36 levels in... Well I had 8 levels already but in 10 minutes this is crazy. Right. Over here. Fishing rod. All I want is unbreaking 3 and luck of the sea 3. You don't want lure 3 as well otherwise you get an increased chance of catching fish. I want an Increased chance of catching treasure. Luck of the sea, three. I saw it. Unbreaking three is all we got. <sighs> we got a fishing rod that's not going to wear out. And a load of rubbish lying on the floor. Alright, I'm going to clear this mess up. And come back to you in a minute. We're going to try one more fishing rod. Because unbreaking three ain't going to do anything for us. Who cares if a fishing rod breaks? It's only 
Oh, and I changed my texture pack to 1.7. So only three sticks and a piece of string. Luck of the C3. Luck of the C2 when I'm breaking the three. Well, that's better. That's worth having a dangle. Also, we did get Gothic Salad of Defense, Protection 3 and Unbreaking 1. So that is probably worth repairing on an anvil. Protection 3, Unbreaking 1, Gothic Curus of Defense. Well, this Gothic stuff is quite handy. We will be repairing that because that is the best armor we've got. So I'm not into OP diamond armor, but armor that we gain from our own hard work and skill in trapping a dual skelly spawner, we will take. So I'm going to turn all this off, kill these skellies because I don't want to sit here doing this all day. So they can all get in there ready for the flambe while I sort them out and then we'll do a little something else. Ah, sunrise. So I've been here fishing for the last 40 minutes watching Minecraft UHC videos and very good they are too I'm not going to give any spoilers and there we have a fish so in the last 40 minutes I have forget about the boats and forget about this one fishing rod I have caught everything else is this good for 40 minutes you tell me one rotten flesh a trip wire hook 17 red salmon 37 raw fish six puffer fish two name tags is obviously good couple of leather couple of clownfish Lure 2 rod I'm not really interested in because lure 2 means we've got level 2 of catching more fish. Now this is this is the thing. Unbreaking 3, lure 3, luck of the 3C. Now I know this sounds funny but is this rod any good? Because lure 3 means we've got level 3 catch more fish and luck of the C3 means we've got level 3 catch more treasure. So do they cancel each other out? Or does it mean we catch better treasure? Or does it mean we catch treasure faster? Because this is luck of the sea too, but as far as I'm concerned, it hasn't got a lure on it. So we should catch more treasure, less fish. Also, more complications. We get these silly books. We've got Bane of Arthropods 3, Lure 3. I really have no use for that book at all. Then we have this book. Now this is the doozy because I'd love to put Luck of the C2 on this and make it Luck of the C3 Unbreaking 3. But I'd also like to put Flame 1 on this and have Power 4 Punch 2 Flame 1. So I don't know, I'm just happy I've got a couple of name tags and I'm happy I've got this Flame 1 Luck of the C2 book. So um, there we have it. So I'm sorry if this episode was a little bit disjointed, but you know, we locked a blaze spawner down and we've done some enchanting and I want you to tell me what's going on with these fishing rod enchants. And um, catch you next time. Bye bye.